Okay everyone, we are here today for the activity entitled The Beauty of the Cosmos. Okay class, we have the objectives. Number one, to better understand the universe around us. Number two, to explain the expansion of the universe. Number three, to appreciate the beauty of the universe. Okay class, next, we have the materials. Okay, the balloon, bond paper, the ball pen, the pencil pen, and roller. Okay, as I've said, five balloons are needed for you to continue on the experiment or the activity. Why? It's because when the balloon that you are using is being destroyed, then most probably may extra kayo na balloon para continue yung activity nyo. Okay, next, the procedure. Okay, first, get the balloon and then partially inflate the balloon then twist the opening and hold it shut okay next number three draw and label dots and mark it a b c and d and measure each distance using the centimeter okay question na naman sir wala kaming centimeter dito sa roller namin ang meron lang is yung hanggang 300 at hanggang 12 then, most probably, yung gagamitin mo dun is gamitin mo yung 300 na nakikita mo dun sa taas. Yung 300 na yun, that is the so-called millimeter. Then, if you convert the centimeter into millimeter, then most probably, 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. Then, gagamitin mo na yun. Okay? Then, next, number 4. After that, continue inflating the balloon to its fullest capacity. Then, repeat the measurement as well. Okay? Lastly, Write your measurement on the data table. Okay class, let's proceed to the procedure. Okay, the procedure one is we have to first get the balloon. Okay, meron na tayong balloon. And then, partially inflate the balloon. Okay, hangin ko na. Okay, sabi dyan is partially lang, hindi fully. Then, twist the opening and hold it shut o oh, diba hindi ko siya tinali hinawakan ko lang and then kuha ka ng marker then number 3 na tayo draw and label dots and mark it A, B, C and D and measure each distance ok linagyan ko yan ng dot A dot number dot yan lagyan natin ng A ok second dot wait lang wait lang Na. nalagyan ko na po ng mga dots so bahala na po kayo kung saan ang dots nyo ilalagay sa part ng balloon yan, bahala na kayo then next measure the distance from A from A to B B to C and C to D then ilagay mo na yung data mo or yung measurement mo okay, for example let's measure A to B a to B is yun, 8 cm okay, hindi na nakikita okay, A cm tapos B to C 7.5 then C to D is 8 then from D to A 13.5 Yun. Then after that, sabi na dun, continue inflating the balloon to its fullest capacity. Then, yun na. O, iwasan lang natin pumutok. So, pwede na to, ganito kalaki. Then, itali mo na siya. You have to close it. Then, once again, measure the distance between the A to B, B to C, and C to D. Then, you have to input your final measurement as well. Let's proceed to number 4. You have to compare the initial measurement to its final measurement. Siyempre, alam ko naman tatanungin nyo kung paano yan, di ba? Kung ano yung nakuha nyo 
Then, most probably, i-compare mo lang dun sa final. Then, you have to observe kung ano yung pagkakaiba ng isa't isa sa initial to the final measurement. Ganun lang po kasimple yun. Okay?